I hadn't have found Harry Potter, um, I seriously don't know what would have become of me. I did name my youngest son after Harry. I don't go out of the house unless I'm wearing something Harry Potter. If that doesn't happen, I have a permanent tattoo, just in case. Summary, I thought it was summary. Every single room in this house is gonna have Harry Potter in it. I'm determined. I was pregnant with my eldest son, Daniel, and I thought, you know what? So many people are going after this book. So many people are talking about this book. I'm dyslexic, but I was determined to give it a try. Turned the first page and I was completely hooked. I bought a book called The Harry Potter Collector's Guide, and in there was this beautifully described snow globe, no picture, uh, from San Francisco Music Company of Harry going through platform nine and three quarters. Three months later, it finally arrived, and I opened it, and the magic was so intense inside that box. I mean, I say I went a bit crazy, but when I started collecting, things were cheap. I've got a wand that's worth 2,000 and I bought it, I think, for 26 pound. I heard about the record, um, it was a gentleman in Mexico, and I thought, Do you know what, I, I think I could possibly be it. And I decided to obviously go for this record, and it takes a while for it to be registered and so on. I actually refreshed the page, because I, I kept checking every day, I kept checking every day. And it was actually my birthday, the 14th of March, and I refreshed the page and it said, uh, current record holder. Oh, I did it! And I screamed. This was obviously when I was featured in it, in the main part. Tiny picture in here compared to the one that was released this year. I mean, being autistic, it's, it's kind of hard because you never feel like you belong. I, I didn't have a very good childhood. Uh, unfortunately, my family life wasn't brilliant. It was, uh, me and Harry had very similar experiences, which is probably why I loved it so much because he was whisked off to a magical boarding school and told he was worth more than he thought he was. And I wished I had that. Being 41 and I've had autism, well, you know, all my life. And it's amazing how much I have actually adapted. And I feel a lot of that is down to Harry Potter because there are so many people in the stories that you can relate to. If I hadn't have found Harry Potter, I seriously don't know what would have become of me. I went to the studios with a friend of mine. He told me that he had funded the trip to come to the UK because of a video that he'd done on YouTube. I decided to try and do it myself. So if you would like to see what I have been sent today, then keep on watching. I, I love my job. I love Harry Potter. I love the Wizarding World. And I love the community that comes with it. More than anything, the community that comes with it. There's not many people that can say that their their job is their, 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 their passion, their love. And that is the thing. I am, I've turned my, my passion, my love, my obsession into a career.